joined by head coach Melissa McFerrin and coach you have South Florida on uh, Wednesday night at the Elmer Field Fieldhouse and this is a uh, ball club that Jose Fernandez has and he's done a, tr a tremendous job down there they're coming off a lot of success last year and I know second half of the se season they're going to expect a lot out of their ball club. They are this is a NCAA tournament team from last year they they accepted an at-large bid so they did a lot of really quality work to get into the NCAA tournament. They're a different team this year a very deep team and somewhat young but talented. They have a, they have the opportunity to, to put points on the board. Caroline Williams is just an outstanding sophomore, a three-point threat, a great shooter off the dribble, outstanding in transition. And then Inga Orokova, I think really is their next um, long three-point threat. But the thing that you'll find about South Florida is They'll bring a player off the bench that looks almost like the player that just went to just went to the bench, and they've got a they've got a lot of weapons. Um, they've got wonderful physical, athletic post players, rebounding post players, and they're they're going to be a significant challenge for us. And it's a challenge that we've got to be ready for. And this has got to be a game that we've we've got to think we got to grind out a win. They've got ten players that average double digit minutes uh, in their rotation. We we've seen a team like that before this year at the Paradise Jam in Syracuse, rotated a lot of players. So it's a, it's a style that you've, you're a little familiar with. It is. Um, the first time we played them, so the tendencies of the players um, may be a little bit foreign to us until we actually get on the court with them. And, and until you actually, you can watch as much tape as right. you want to, but until you actually get on the floor with those players, there are still some things that you don't know. Um, they are still trying to figure out who their point guard is. And that's probably the one position that's not solidified in terms of what they do and and it poses a bit of a challenge because one of their players is point guards is very th methodical the other point guard is very much a tempo point guard so they are a little bit different based on who's running the point but what you do know about them is that their two three four and five are pretty solid and it doesn't matter if there's it's the starter or the or the first player off the bench at that position it's a team that likes to shoot a lot of threes as well they do like to shoot a lot of threes, and, and they're good at it. Um, they like to score. They've got deep range shooters. They set a lot of staggered screens. It's a, it's a very difficult scout, um, not only for our coaches, but also for our players because they've got to absorb a lot of knowledge about the other team in a short amount of time because of the number of screens that they set and the different sc screening scenarios that they present to our team. Games becoming, now that they weren't before, but now very critical. You're already now in the second half of the conference season. We are in the second half of the conference season, and in order to keep our postseason hopes alive, um, we've got to finish at least 500 um, overall. And, and we're 500 right now, right. so you can see with eight games to go, um, we've got to go four and four at least in this in this um, shortened now conference season. So we are very well aware of that. Um, we've got quality teams coming into our building, but we've also got teams coming into our building that we feel like we have an opportunity to beat. So um, if we take care of business at home, then we won't have to do so much work on the road. But uh, it still would be nice to steal one at a Temple, at a Cincinnati, would help our chances going down the stretch here. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks, Jeff. Memphis and USF, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock at the Elmer Field Fieldhouse.